everyone, welcome to Physics Talk 4.3, Gravitational Potential Energy Calculations. So we're going to practice doing those calculations. You saw the formulas. This is part of Chapter 4, Section 2 in our textbook. So let's work on taking some good notes today. All right, so our learning objective is to use the Gravitational Potential Energy formula to calculate either EG, the mass, or the height. So as long as I give you two out of the three, you should be able to calculate either one of those three. Okay, as long as I give you two out of three. Um, and so our using mathematical and computational thinking is our SCPs for the day, and our CCCs are pattern, scale, proportion, and quantity. All right, let's do this. So example one says, what is the gravitational potential energy for a two kilogram mass that is lifted to a height of five meters? What if we double the height to 10 meters? By what factor does the gravitational potential energy change when you double the height? So when looking at this, uh, let's look at our given. So our given is we got mass, 2 kilograms. We got a height of 5 meters. And um, let's uh, plug in the formula. So the formula says, oh, we're looking for EG, sorry. We're looking for EG up here. And so the formula says EG is equal to MGH. M, of course, is 2. G is our 9.8. And H, of course, is our height of 5 meters. So when we plug that in, we get 2 times 9.8 times 5. And when you solve for that, you get 98 joules. Okay, 98 joules. So now what if we double the height to 10 meters? So this time, um, our height is now going to be 10. We plug in the same mass as 2, same 9.8. And so we get 2 times 9.8 times 10. We plug that into our calculators, and we get 196 joules. So when we compare these two, because this is by what factor, um, you can see that that guy is double, double the height. Double the height, double the energy. So unlike kinetic energy, um, this is a direct relationship in terms of no square or anything. So if you double the height, you double the energy. You triple the height, you triple the energy. You quadruple the height, you quadruple the energy. So it's simple. Um, nothing complicated there. All right, example two. By how much does the potential energy increase if the five kilogram object is lifted from four meters to 20 meters? So in this case, our given is for our height of four meters, our other height of 20 meters, and of course the mass of five kilograms. We are looking for potential energy. So we want to look at that first calculation. It's MGH, the five goes in there, the 9.8 goes there, and of course the 4 goes right there. We do the same with the 20, um, and we get 5 times 9.8 times 20, which is 980. So when we compare those two, the question is, by how much does it increase? So if I want to know how much it increases by, I really need to know the change between these two. And so the change formula is just change is the final minus initial. So this is the final minus initial and it changed by 784. So it increased by 784 joules when you raise it from 4 to 20. Now this is not the only way to calculate this. You could have technically, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, instead of plugging in the 4 and the 20, just the change in height is 16. And if you would have plugged 16 into the spot, you would have gotten the 784. That would have been the other way to solve this. Um, and so that's how we do potential energy. So that's all we have. It's a very quick, quick lesson. If you have any questions, come visit during tutoring.